And once again to our breaking news here on the program tonight, Kenya has been suspended from all international football competitions over government interference. This was an announcement that was made by FIFA today. Let's listen to FIFA President Gianni Infantino. Last topic I want to mention, um, we had uh, to suspend two of our member associations, Kenya and Zimbabwe, both for government interference in the activities of uh, the football association. So these associations are suspended from all footballing activities with immediate effect. And uh, uh, they know what needs to be done for them to be readmitted. Um, and our sports editor, Michael King, joins me now to talk about what this means. Mike, first of all, did we expect this? I mean, I think we thought it would come much sooner. Yeah, we thought it would come much sooner because FIFA, the way they operate is that they give the ban, it's immediate. Actually, when government disbands a federation, they send a message immediately. And they don't even send it to the government. They send it to the federation, say, tell your government. Within 24 hours, if they don't rescind the decision, then we're going to ban you. So suspension, it's something that we expected, especially knowing that today Infantino had said that they will take action against some associations. We knew that Kenya definitely is was, in the mix. Was going to come up today. So what are the consequences of this? Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? The good thing is that it's an indefinite suspension. They didn't say two years, three years, four years, five years. It's indefinite, which means if we realign ourselves, then we are back in place. So we, like we heard him say, they know what they need to do, mm -hmm. all right? So a letter has already been sent to FKF, and we'll see that letter tonight, I'm sure. And that letter would say that reinstate the federation, then we talk. That is when we will come back on the table and say, fine, now that they are back, what are the problems? Mm. What do we need to do? That is what is happening. If it was a definite ban that it's three years, four years, five years, then that's bad because they've given a time frame. Yeah. Stay out for this number of years, then you come back. But as it is, it means that FIFA will have a hand in what we do next. And what about our Kenyan football? Did we have some international games lined up? What does yes, this mean? And, for under, our under 17, we were supposed to go into camp next week yeah. for the qualifiers. That one is out. And the moment FIFA and CAF were not responding on the women issue that they're going to play against Uganda, we knew it's a wrap mm. because it was coming. So tell me, where does this leave the caretaker committee that has now been in place about three months? And what does this mean for Nick Mwendwa, who was ousted? Number one, for Nick Mwendo, it means it's um, uh, one goal to kneel against government because now he has power to negotiate. I mean, Did we see a possible return? FIFA will say reinstate the federation, but it could be the federation without Nick Mwendo okay. because they would say, government can say, okay, fine, we have a problem with this person. There are these cases against them, but the federation can continue. Mm -hmm. That is what could happen. Okay. In terms of uh, caretaker committee, then the mandate is in limbo now because what normally happens is government suspends a federation once the suspension comes into effect the next step is that fifa will ban us the next step after that is that there will be negotiation between um, uh, fifa and government and the federation then they'll put in something that we call a normalization committee so normalization committee will come in to fix the areas that government has a problem with and one of the areas is the constitution of FKF, because mm -hmm. remember, that's one contentious issue. Mm -hmm. The Sports Act says that for you to conduct your elections and for you to run affairs of sports in this country, you must conform to the Sports Act, which means that there should be county sports associations. Mm -hmm. We've seen it in cricket, they formed it. We've seen it in swimming, they formed it. We've seen it in any other sport that is conforming to the Sports Act. That means that county football associations have to be registered by the registrar. They do their elections. Then those are the ones who are going to vote and not delegates. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a lot of diplomacy that will be played in the yeah. next few days uh -huh. because we need to get ourselves back on track. So once the normalization committee is put in place, then there'll be the roadmap. Okay. into constitution reforms and elections, and then now FIFA will say we are happy and lift this. But the problem is that before that one happens, the next time that FIFA is going to meet and have this discussion uh -huh. will be at the World Cup in Qatar, end wow. of the year. Wow, okay, yes. okay. So that's, that's uh, quite some time that we'll that's be That's quite some record. time, but it's okay. international football. It doesn't mean that local football is not going to be played. Okay. We'll play our leagues, uh -huh. we will play everything else, but it means even if you win the league, you will not play any international competitions unless 
the ban is lifted. All right, understood. Thank you very much for breaking it down for us and helping us understand what it all means. We've been waiting, I think, for three months to know when this was going to come. It has eventually come. Kenya been suspended from all international football games by FIFA. Gianni Infantino, the president of FIFA, announced that today. Our Michael Kingi helping us understand the consequences of this, where this leaves the caretaker committee. And um, could it be a possible return for Nick Mundo? We will have to wait and see. We want